Hi, have you been looking for a way to get your photos from Lightroom into Apple Photos really easily? Well, today I'm gonna to show you how you do it. Hi, my name's Richard, welcome back to the channel. And I'm gonna try not to shout because I have a microphone. Um, my name is Richard and welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to show you really quickly how to get um, your photos from Lightroom into Apple Photos if like me you use both. Now I have already done a video on this, it's on my other channel and as you may or may not know I'm trying to get all the popular videos that were on that channel into this new photography channel because the old channel is all about travel. So this is kind of a repeat of that one, it's not going to be identical because I'm re-recording it, it's now January. It's still January the 31st, 2023. Like I said, it's one of my more popular videos, so I wanted to bring it to this channel in the hope that uh, it brings more people to the channel, obviously. Um, now, I use Apple Photos and Lightroom, and I basically use Lightroom for all my catalog management and my um, editing and things like that. And I use Apple Photos really just to upload my favorites, so I've got them on my phone or my iPad if I want to show anybody or fire out a quick post to social media, or if I'm with friends or something like that, we're sharing photos of a trip or whatever. So here we are, and I thought I would show everyone how you get your photos from Lightroom to Apple Photos in just a few clicks. Okay, so here we are in, um, in Lightroom. Uh, so first up, you wanna go into the folder that contains the photos that you want in Apple Photos. I am just gonna be using some of these photos I've taken around the house, um, and I want to set up a folder in my Apple Photos of all my, let's say photos of whiskey. So we're gonna go two, three, that's not whiskey, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, can we get to 10? Yes, nine, uh, 10. And you know what, let's do 11, because all we're gonna do 12. There's 12 whiskey photos, okay. Just to make sure I've got them all together, I'm just gonna hit P so that it flags all of those um, photos as picked, and I can now filter on the picked photos, and there are the 12 photos that we are going to get into Lightroom. So once you've identified the ones you want to get into Lightroom, we are gonna head over to File and Export. Now, I have a preset here that I already use. Where's it gone? Export for photos, but obviously we wanna go into the settings so I can show you how it's all set up. Um, so we're gonna click on export for now, and here is the export for photos preset that I already have set up. I'm gonna come back to this export location in a second and just quickly run through the other sections. File renaming, this is where you rename. I'm gonna try and do another video on how you export and set up export presets and things like that, but uh, file renaming is where you rename the photos if you want to. I don't, because I've already named them as I've imported them into Lightroom. Video not applicable for these photos. File settings, JPEG, sRGB. Um, I make sure that the quality is on 100 and then I try and limit the file size to 300K. Uh, the fit long edge. I generally find that 1100 is a good standard for your phone or your iPad or something like that. So everything will export in um, with the longest edge being 1100 pixels, whether that's landscape or portrait. Little bit of, little bit of screen sharpening as it's gonna be viewed mainly on um, on an iPhone or an iPad, it's not gonna be printed or anything like that. Uh, whatever metadata you wanna include in it, and if you want to add a watermark. So they're all the sections that are real specific to you and what, you, what your favorites are, what your preferences are. So coming back to the top, what it's gonna do here is, it is gonna export photos to a place on your hard drive. Ideally, it would be great to get them exported to a bin or a recycle bin straight away or a trash can, but it can't, I can't find a way of doing it. If you know a way and this process still works, leave me a comment down below and I will um, be good to learn that too. But as far as I know, you have to export it to a folder. Now I have a folder on my hard drive that I use and it's called export then delete, which is basically for every image that I export from Lightroom, whether it be for social media, for my blog, uh, for things like this. I know that if I put it into that folder, it's a duplicate image and I can clear that folder out randomly whenever I want and it'll make sure that those images are um, deleted and it keeps hard drive clean and free of space and things like that. So when you've chosen where you want to export it to, you just navigate to that folder by clicking on the 
um, choose button and then we're going to head down to the bottom here and make sure that this is the fun bit. So post-processing, in other words, what do we want um, Lightroom to do or the computer to do after we've clicked export basically and we want it to do we could show them in Finder, we could open it in Photoshop, but we want to open it in another application and we are gonna choose, obviously, you click on Applications and you click on Photos and then when you hit Choose, you should have down the bottom here, System, Application, Photos. And then once you've done that, and let us just make sure, <laughs> have we got them all highlighted? We have them all highlighted, so File, Export, they're going to my export then delete folder. We've got photos chosen here. We are gonna click on export. And this is the great bit because it's automatically gonna open photos ready for those images that have just been exported from Lightroom to be dragged straight into Apple Photos. So we can see Apple Photos opening and here we are. Here are the 12 photos. Now, depending on what you do now is entirely up to you. For a point of reference, I normally set up a new album this album is going to be called Whiskey Favourites. We've created the album. We are going to now import all new photos into the Whiskey Favourites album, which is it is doing right now. And here they are. And if we come down to the Whiskey Favourites, we will see the Whiskey Favourites have 12 photos and it's from 2023, so I just drag that album into my whiskey favorites, sorry, into my 2023 folder. Um, and we can see the 12 photos there that we've just exported straight into photos, no exporting, no imported, nothing like that. Done, really simple. If you remember a few minutes ago, I said they will export and they will go onto a location on your hard drive. All you now need to do is navigate to where they were saved, which is here, export, then delete. And you'll see the 12 photos Right mouse click, move to bin, they've gone to trash, the hard drive's clean, that folder's empty, ready for the next Lightroom export, and we have them in the Apple Photos application. Really easy, really straightforward. Like I said, that is a replica of another video, which I will be removing from my other channel once I've got this one. Once you're looking at this, so it must be published. Um, so that's it, really simple, really straightforward. Great if you use Lightroom and Apple Photos. I hope you found that useful, if you did, you know the drill, give us a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel to see loads more content like this, little tutorials, I'm gonna do some camera tutorials from my Canon as well. Uh, lots coming up, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.